What's up everybody, it's George Gabriel and I'm about to show you the logic key command that will change your life. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people working on Logic and they're using the record button and they're using either a key command to record, but then every time they're doing it, they're having to stop and if they mess up and they have to wait to record and it's just a terrible process. And really the creative process is more like, let's just find something out. Let's just play around with the piano, maybe play around with the click. And then all of a sudden magic happens. You're like, oh no, what happened? I lost it. Oh, I wish I remembered that. I wish I was recording. There is a key command out there that is going to change your life if you don't know it already. And what it is, is a key command that allows you to practice and come up with all your cool ideas. You know, sometimes some of the best things that we record are mistakes, at least for me. I don't know about you, but like I'm just messing around like, oh, that's a really cool chord. What is that chord? This key command actually allows you to play around. And when you get that magic moment, you can just capture it and know that it will never be lost. Let's take a look. Now I'm in uh, my auto load in Logic here and I've dialed up a grand piano. And typically what I do is when I'm writing something, I'll just like mess around with things, right? So I'm gonna hit the space bar in Logic and just play it along to a click and see if some magic happens. See if I find something that I write that I just love and I want to keep it, but I'm not gonna be recording it. I'm just gonna play. So let's do that. Now let's just say, let's just say I love that. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit stop and then I'm gonna hit my magic key command. Here we go. There it is. Voila. I've got a cool thing that I just played and I can just check it out. At this point, if I wanna quantize it or whatever, I'm like, okay, I was just free forming. My quantization's off. Let me turn it on. And just do 16th notes and let's see what happens. Okay, so it's all captured. So how did I get there? Let me show you. I'm going to go into my logic key commands and I'm going to go edit assignments and in assignments, you will find in this little search area, you're going to hit capture. And you can see capture as recording is there. Now my key command for captures recording is uh, shift return. So when I'm done and if I like it, I hit shift return, boom. Uh, you could do capture recording and play as so you could hit shift return and it'll go back and play it over for you. But I just like capture as a recording because I don't necessarily want it to play over again. But this key command disables the need for you to have to hit record and mess up, hit stop, rewind, hit record. You can just play along. So if you want to set the key command to be exactly what you want it to be, all you have to do is click on capture recording and you can learn by key label. So you just say, learn by key label. I'm going to hit shift return, bada boom, bada bing. There it is right now. If I take it out here, I'll just show you what that looks like. Learn by key label. Boom. There it is. So now I have this capture. Now you can use whatever key command you want to make this happen. I happen to use this, I've used it for years, and it's enabling me to do whatever I want. So when I'm recording something, I can try some things out, and if some magic happens, I'm like, oh, what was that? I capture it, and bada boom, bada bing. I never hit record, I never have to go rewind, and when I do want to rewind and start over again, I use, let me close this out here, I use uh, command period on the keyboard. So let's just take this out for a second. And if I start over again, let's say I mess up.
nope, that's not good. So I'm gonna hit uh, command period, brings me right back to the beginning. If I like it, capture it, and there it is. Nice, easy, simple key command that doesn't really come default uh, with a key command in it. And if you don't know that it's there, you'd never know to use it. That is a game changer for your creativity. You will never have to hit record and rewind again if you use this. I promise you, you're going to think, wow, how did I ever do it before? It's just a simple key command that is relatively hidden. If you don't know it's there, you never use it. You think you have to hit record, which is a bummer because that's a waste of time. This is again about making your workflow work for you and making your creativity not be sidelined by having to stop and rewind and all that business. This key command will change the way you write music. It'll allow you to be free, allow you to be creative, allow you to make mistakes that actually are really cool and remember them because all you have to do is capture it. Hopefully this is helpful to you and this will change the way that you do things. As always, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified of new episodes. Like this video if you like it and make sure to leave a comment. Tell me if this key command has changed the way that you do things that has opened up your creativity. I'd like to know. I'd like to interact with you guys. I'll see you next time on George Gabriel Music.